Hello, this time, we will make a flashlight function used in a horror game. First, create a material to apply to the light. Next, set the material's domain to light function. Next, while holding down S on the keyboard, click the left mouse button to create a texture sample node and set the texture sample node to the burst texture provided by start content. Next, create two radial gradient exponential nodes. Next, while holding down one on the keyboard, click the left mouse button to create constant nodes and set the values to the four nodes as shown in the video. Then connect the constant nodes to the radial gradient node as shown in the video to create a circular gradient. Next, create two power nodes and connect them to each of the radial gradient nodes. Power circular gradient. Then the two radial gradient nodes are subtracted from each other to create a donut-shaped gradient. Next, create a small ring-shaped gradient using the sine node. Then use the 1 minus node to create a black ring. While holding down 1 on the keyboard, click the left mouse button to create an add node. Next, add the subtract node and the 1 minus node to lighten the color of the black ring shape. Next, create a multiply node and then connect the nodes as shown in the video to complete the inner gradation of the flashlight. Create a max node and a power node, adjust the value of the power node, and then connect the red channel of the texture sample, node to the power node to extract the large ring part of the burst texture. Then, using the max node, combine two ring shapes to complete the flashlight's texture. Next, while holding down one on the keyboard, click the left mouse button to create constant free vector and change it to parameter and set a name and color. Next, the gradient is multiplied by a color. Then, multiply 0.2 value to make the flashlight's gradient a little blurry. When finished, save and return to the content browser. Next, open your character's blueprint. Click the Add Component button to create a spotlight and place the spotlight under the character's muzzle next. Set the values of intensity, attenuation radius, and outer cone angle like the video. After checking use temperature, set the value of temperature. And in the light function material, set the flashlight material you created. Next, go to the event graph and create a keyboard event node to activate the flashlight. Next, create a flip-flop node and connect it with the keyboard event node so that the event occurs alternately when a key is input. After dragging the spotlight component to the event graph, create two set visibility nodes and set the values of the set visibility nodes as shown in the video and connect to the flip-flop node. It allows you to turn the flashlight on and off. Go back to the viewport again and set hidden in game to hide the meshes attached to the character and uncheck visible of spotlight to play with the light turned off. After compiling, return to the content browser. Next, let's darken the environment. Find the light source created in the level and rotate the light source so that the white arrow points to the sky. Next, find the sky sphere blueprint and click the refresh material in detail and build lighting. It may take some time. Now, let's play. Check that the flashlight can be turned on and off by pressing the key set in keyboard event. 